Thanks, Angie. We're continuing to track Tropical Storm Harvey this morning, and right now the models are showing it heading to the coast of Texas. But we may eventually start to see some rain from Harvey into next week. Mike Steele from the Governor's Office of Homeland Security and Emergency Preparedness is joining us by phone to talk about how the state is preparing for this weather. Thank you so much for joining us, Mike, and tell us what you guys are doing for, to prepare. Well, we appreciate you letting us on. You know, the main thing for the public right now is just to maintain that awareness about what the conditions uh, uh, could, uh, how the conditions could change, I guess. Uh, you know, there's a lot of uncertainty with this storm, uh, a lot of different models taking it a lot of different places. Hopefully we won't see a major impact, you know, on this part of the state. But, uh, you know, southwest Louisiana could have a major impact. So if that forecast track changes, you know, we just need people to maintain their awareness. From a state standpoint, the governor has called for a unified command group meeting today at our office uh, here in Baton Rouge. Uh, they're going to meet with all the cabinet heads, make sure everyone's kind of on the same page with this. There's constant communication that started yesterday with National Weather Service offices, with our parish leaders, and with a lot of other uh, partners uh, so that we're all kind of getting the same information and the same updates to help us make, make the best decisions. And uh, the state has a crisis action team, and how is that team working in southeast Louisiana? So our role in, in emergency management is we are uh, where the parishes go if their resources get overwhelmed with any type of event, whether it be a tropical event or whatever the case may be. So that crisis action team was activated uh, yesterday and stayed active uh, overnight so that if any requests start coming in from the parishes, we're there to help help um, fill those needs. And of course, specifically here in New Orleans, we're worried about drainage issues. What do you guys think that how big of a part that will play in today's meeting? We have staff that's been working with the city and with the parish uh, ever since this situation started. Uh, there's a lot of different plans that are being looked at, you know, Depending on what the circumstances are, what we need to know is, is you know, we need to have that updated weather information, and then we need to know the status of the uh, systems in New Orleans. So once we get that information, you know, we can work with the local leaders in that area to help determine what steps need to be done. It's kind of hard to determine, you know, exactly like what those trigger points will be because a lot of it will depend on those status updates. So once we get that information and can kind of analyze everything, you know, we'll be able to make those calls. It's, it's very hard to know what to do because of the fact that we are not really sure what this path is going to be and how it's going to affect the area. But there are people who are concerned, uh, people with special needs, um, people concerned about what if, what if there's an evacuation. Uh, what advice can you give to people and what help can you give to people who may have difficulty getting out of their homes? First of all, when it comes to special needs, or if it comes to someone who has, you know, pets that they consider basically part of the family, every parish has plans for those types of situations, whether they be in New Orleans, Calcasieu, wherever they may be. So get in touch with your parish leaders, know what those plans are. Also, to utilize a lot of the uh, social media, the internet help that's out there. A lot of parishes have great resources available, uh, along with us here at GOSAP and FEMA Region 6. You know, use those resources. There's a lot of weather updates available online. Take advantage of the technology that's out there. And, of course, you know, check in with your local media. Make sure you know what updates they're giving. And just, uh, you know, we're kind of in that awareness mode, I guess, right yes, now to my... see how this storm is going to play out. Yeah. But this time of year, we're in the heart of hurricane season. So if this one, you know, doesn't get us, basically, there could be a few more, you know, coming up in the next few weeks. So it's always yeah. a good idea to have everything in line. And there is a website people can go to. It's getagameplan.org. Thank you very that's much, right. Mike, and, for joining us. And we also have a Get a Game Plan app that's been, uh, uh, you know, kind of updated last year. So we're asking people to download that free app also because we'll be able to put evacuation information on that app. If, if we get to that point. Very important to know. Mike Steele, thanks for joining us this morning. You bet. Thank you.